All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about selling cheaper items versus selling more expensive items. So some sellers prefer to sell more expensive items uh, because uh, it's less work. You know, if, you, if you're shipping out one item and you're making, say, I'm gonna talk pounds in this video, by the way, but if you're from different parts of the world, just pretend that I'm talking about your currency. So for you guys that are in the US, just pretend that I'm talking in dollars. So when I say five pounds, just pretend I'm saying five dollars. It's the same principle. So same with selling something for like 50 pounds, then the money we make from that is probably gonna be more than an item that we sell for, say, five pounds. Uh, so obviously, if we're selling items that are five pounds, we've got to sell more of them to make the same profit, meaning we've got to uh, wrap up more post parcels and we've got more work. But I prefer selling cheaper items. And in this video, I'm going to show you why. So let's jump into my PC and I will explain more. Here we are in my PC and we're just having a quick look at some different eBay items. So this is an item that we've been looking at in a previous video. It's just a toy glider made out of foam. And um, this seller here, he's selling, selling them for £6.99 and he's sold a whole load of them. Uh, we've got another seller here that sold, sold quite a few of them and he's selling them for even more. Uh, and then when we have a look here uh, from the supplier, one of the suppliers that I use to get stuff from, AliExpress, we can see that we can get these for £1.25. So we've got a massive profit margin there. I mean, the rule of thumb that I use uh, to, to get the minimum price that I would sell an item for is to first... Get, get the price that we pay for the item, including shipping, whatever the cost is to get it to our door, uh, and then I double that price, and then on top of that price, I stick on the postage and packaging. Uh, so saying in this instance, for example, this is £1.25, uh, so I double that, £2.50, plus say £3 postage, uh, we're looking at £5.50 that we want to sell this item for at a minimum. And that way that covers the item cost, it covers any eBay fees and it covers all the shipping and we still make uh, a little bit of profit on there. So that would be to me, the rock bottom that I would sell that product for. And if we can sell that product for even more, then it's a bonus. So in the case of this, we can see that people are selling it for 6 dollars uh, and this dude here is selling it for £8.85. So he's way above uh, my little rule there, what I use. Uh, so this would definitely be a product that I would look at into selling. And especially if we can go through the listings and see if we can make improvements, make this listing better, uh, then we're going to be able to make more sales than this dude. Uh, I've found there to be, be 11 things that we have to get right when we make eBay listings. Uh, so one of the things is uh, the title here, for example. Uh, if we can put a better title in uh, that's more optimised to the keywords and stuff, uh, then we can make more sales that way. Better photos, it's going to lead to more sales. Uh, we, you know, that's not just the first photo, the other photos that are there as well. You know, if we can see photos of the item in use, for example, uh, that's going to give us more sales. Uh, free shipping is going to give us more sales. Fast delivery is going to give us more sales. Uh, a good description is going to give us more sales. And there's 11 simple things like this that I have found, that, but you have to get them all right. If you get one wrong, you're going to limit your sales. Uh, so um, if we find a seller that's making good sales and we can better his listings uh, in as many of these 11 things that we can, then we can expect to make more sales than what this seller's making. Uh, so let's have a look at a more expensive item. So cheap item, we can buy it for dirt, dirt cheap. I mean, I like to buy items that are under five pounds, under sort of five or six dollars. Uh, and then if we can do that double plus post rule on it, and, and often we can make even more on that on cheaper items. Uh, percentage wise, uh, profit margin wise, we're gonna make a lot more. Now, if we look at more expensive items, uh, this is an item that I used to sell here, these exhaust cutout valves. Basically, you put it into a, a car exhaust and you've got a switch inside, so you can have a loud exhaust or you can have a quiet exhaust. And that's what these were. And the one that I used to sell was ones like this one here. I used to, I used to sell these for 150 pounds. And I used to buy them for around about £50. So I was well with, within that double plus postage rule and I made a nice profit on these. Uh, the trouble is, people are selling these for really cheap now and people have made their listings better and better and better. And the supplier cost on this particular item has gone up as well. So if we try and find, see this one here, I used to pay 50 for these all in. And now look, we're looking at around about, say, 70, over £70. Pounds. Uh, and of course we can spend a lot more time researching, but the trouble is when, when you're selling more expensive items, it is a lot more difficult to get the same profit margins that we do on something cheaper. So when I'm trying to do my double plus shipping rule, I, I can't really apply it on more expensive stuff because it's a lot more cutthroat. People are more likely to sell items for a lot cheaper 
uh, when it's more expensive stuff, you know, with less profit margin. Uh, and I find it much, much more difficult to compete. Once once pro uh, products get over, sort of say, you know, saying you're, you're looking on, on eBay, once products start going over sort of 10, 20 pounds, uh, people are going to be more likely, you know, customers that are going to buy a product, they're going to be more likely to start price hunting and comparing more. When it's items that are sort of, this sort of price range, sort of the six pounds, seven, eight, nine, ten price range, people tend to not be so picky to get the cheapest price. They tend to look at the listing, if they're happy, they buy it. So I've found that if you're trying to make a, a better profit on more expensive items, it's a, people, like buyers are a lot more picky and you're gonna make many, many less sales. Uh, so another reason I like to use cheaper items is obviously they're a lot cheaper to buy. You know, if we're just paying £1.25 for these, we could buy a whole load of these and have a load of inventory that's gonna last us. You know, if we're buying these, we're going to have to put a lot more money up front to have enough in stock because we don't want to go out of stock. We've got to have enough items in stock uh, so that, you know, once the stock gets low, we can reorder. We get them in on time so we don't run out of stock. When we run out of stock, obviously, we don't make any sales. And obviously, that's bad. But what's even worse is that you lose the amount sold over a certain time period. And if a certain product isn't making any sales... Uh, that product on your eBay listings, on the rankings, it's going to start going away from page one and go on to page two. You're going to get buried. So then once you start listing that item back up for sale, uh, you're not going to make any sales. So eBay is not listing that item. So now you've got to sell some at a cheap rate or you've got to pay for sponsored listings to try and get that item ranked again. Uh, to make organic sales. I'm not going to go too much into this. This is just a basic video. Uh, on my 11-step blueprint, I go over all these 11 rules. I'm going to put a link to that blueprint course down below. I go over all these 11 um, things that you've got to get right in great detail uh, and all these strategies of listing and how to get ranked. I go into that in great, great detail in very easy uh, to follow step-by-step -step, um, processes. So, you know, in these YouTube videos, I'm just giving you a quick overview. You know, it's going to help you out, but... Um, if you want to take this game seriously, you're going to have to kind of take it a bit more seriously yourself. Uh, so another reason is, is when an item's more expensive, uh, someone that buys it is more likely to, to claim they haven't got it, to try and rip you off, to say it's damaged, to try and get a refund. You're going to get a lot more refund scams coming through. An item not, um, you know, the customer saying items have not been delivered. You're going to get that a lot, lot more with the more expensive items. With items like this, you know, people are a lot less likely to claim they haven't received it. You, you, you know, you're going to make a lot less losses. And also, if somebody does say they haven't got it, you've only lost £1.25. If you're selling these things here and you've lost it, it, it gets lost in the post or whatever, or people claim they haven't got it. I mean, yeah, you could have insurance on it. You could claim the money back from the post office, but it's a lot of, a lot of hassle. I normally don't bother doing it. Uh, so, you know, I'll, I'll normally stay away from these sort of items. Also, this item's a lot more complicated, so it's a lot more likely to go wrong. I mean, what's going to go wrong with this? Not much. I mean, the likelihood of someone saying this item's faulty is very low. The likelihood of someone saying these are faulty is a lot higher. So, you know, that's just some of the reasons why I like to choose cheaper items. Uh, and then for this, you know, saying you've got a budget of, say, $500, 500 pounds, you could buy many different products. You could buy maybe 10 of these, 10 of something else, 10 of something else, and you could have a whole load of different listings. And the chances of one particular item, one listing to do really, really well, is gonna be a lot higher versus having only a few more expensive items, where it's gonna cost you a lot more money to have them in stock. You're more likely to get ripped off. You're more likely to have problems. It's more difficult to compete on price, and buyers are more picky on price to try and find the cheapest one. You know, something like this, you know, you could sell that for, say, 8 99 if it costs two pound more than the competitors, it's not gonna put that many people off, it's only two pounds. But when you're selling more expensive stuff like these things here, uh, people are gonna get a lot more picky on price. You know, like, yeah, you could sell it for a couple of pounds more, uh, but you're gonna really have to sell these for 10, 20, 30, 40 pounds more to get the same sort of margins as you would selling something like this. So I hope that makes sense, guys. Uh, you know, if you really wanna get into more details with this, I've got my 11-step eBay uh, blueprint, link to that down below. Uh, there's a 30 day refund guarantee on that. It's a paid for program. Uh, but you know, if you just want to dip your toes into the water, then stick on this eBay channel, this, this YouTube channel. I've got a few more videos coming out. It's going to get you to dip your toes into the water. You're going to make some money. It's going to help you guys out. And then if you decide this is something that you really want to do, then I've got the extra training there if you need it. So, you know, me, myself, personally, I've made over a million dollars worth of sales now on eBay, and I've got hundreds of people in on my program now, and many of those are making thousands every single month. 
Uh, and especially now, now we've got this coronavirus stuff going on. Uh, there's a lot of people that have had mass, massive, massive increases in sales now. You know, where people are not going to traditional shops now so much. Many more people are buying online. And also people are at home, not much to do. And they're trying to find toys and things to do and activities like board games, um, radio controlled toys, toys like this. I mean, they're just flying out the door like hotcakes. DIY tools where a lot of people are at home doing DIY projects. I mean, I know many people that are, that are absolutely killing it selling on eBay now. Now is the perfect time to learn. You know, many people are stuck at home, not much to do. Perfect time to start that home-based business. You've got all the time in the world. You've got a better chance of stuff selling where all the buyers are out there buying stuff. Uh, I mean, there's no better time than, than what there is now. And I know a lot of people procrastinate and they say, oh, it's not for me, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. But tomorrow leads into next week, that leads into next month, that leads into next year, that leads into never. So, you know, now is the best time to do it. If you're not going to do it now, you, you probably never will. So, you know, and this this business stuff, this selling on eBay, it isn't for everybody. You know, most people, they just want to go to a nine to five job. Uh, they want to earn their minimum wage or maybe a little bit more. They want to come home, put their feet up, watch television and forget about it. Uh, you know, and if you're that sort of person, if that makes you happy, that's fine. You know, that's what most people want. Uh, but, you know, for some people, they want more out of life. They want the fast cars. They want the nice houses. They want to go on more holidays. They want the freedom and the flexibility to work for themselves, make more money. You know, with this eBay game, there's an unlimited amount that you can make. The more effort you put in, the more money you're going to make. There's people making multiple millions selling on eBay every single year. There's more eBay millionaires now than there ever have been. And, you know, every, that's just looking at the UK. If you look at worldwide, look at US, there's even more eBay millionaires in the US. So now is the perfect time to chance to start. We're in the perfect opportunity. Now that the world is in chaos, many, many physical walk-in stores are going bankrupt. Uh, there's a great big shift to people buying online. And this is like a golden opportunity now. Uh, and you just have to grab it with both hands. If it's something that you want to do. But remember, guys, that better life is out there. If, if, if you've got hopes and dreams, if you've got that fast car you've always wanted, you've got a dream house you've always wanted, you've got the ability now to do this from the comfort of your own home with no boss looking over your shoulder, without a minimum wage, without digging ditches, without flipping burgers. You can do it in the comfort of your own home. You can have your laptop, you can sit on your sofa, you can make your listings, you can do the research. And the shipping's easy. I'm going to do a whole video on shipping. You literally, you go on eBay, you click on print postage label, you get the item. So this, for example, you get a little mail bag, you chuck it in, you print out the postage label, shove it on the envelope, that's it, done. All you've got to do now, you've got to drop it off at your mail office. Uh, and it's that easy. It's all prepaid. Super, super easy. I mean, once you've done it a couple of times, you're going to realise how easy it is. Some people, they're a bit overwhelmed by how difficult they think that eBay is, when in reality, it's not that difficult. You know, probably the hardest thing is finding decent products and, and listing them in a way that people are going to buy them. But once you've done that, you know, once you've got products like this plane here, for example, he's got the product, he's made the listing, he's got it listed, he's got it ranked, he's making regular sales. Now all he's got to do is post them off, which is the easy bit, and the money's just rolling in. I mean, you know, if you're making, say, 5 to $10 average per parcel, and it, it takes like a, a minute, couple of minutes to do this on each item before you had to work like a whole hour to make that sort of money or maybe half an hour. Now you make the same money in a couple of minutes, maybe maybe even one minute for sitting in the comfort of your own home. I mean, this age that we're in now, it's just like a few years ago, you, it, it would not have felt possible. I mean, it's just truly mind blowing that like if you think you can just make the amounts of money that people are making nowadays just sitting at home in their own time, in the comfort of their own home, they've got their family around them, they haven't got to go anywhere, they haven't got to go on the underground trains, they haven't got to travel for miles going to work, they haven't got to take crap from their bosses, they can make as much money as they like. The sky's the limit, and the only person stopping you is yourself. So if you want that better life, you have to realise it's possible, and it's possible for anybody that's willing to learn and take action, including you. And, you know, of course, if you if you don't take action, it's not going to work. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope this video has helped some of you guys out. I've got more videos coming up in this eBay series. Uh, but, you know, if you want the advanced training, then that's what the blueprint's for. Uh, so, you know, if you're not fully sure, try the free training on the YouTube channel. Uh, I've got a 30-day refund guarantee on the paid-for program. So you can try it out as much as you like. Um, 
The only condition I have on the refund is that you ask before the 30 days are up because I can't give a refund after 30 days. That is the only condition. You can do as much of the course as you, as you want. Uh, the course is unlimited to how how often you can rewatch it. Once you're in on the program, you, you're in on it for life. So, you know, unless you ask for a refund, then of course you're not on it anymore. But anyway, guys, the future is in your hands. The better life is out there for those that want to take it. Uh, are you up to the challenge? That's what you've got to ask yourself. Uh, so I will see you over in another video or I'll see you over in the program and then we can dig deeper into this and um, together we can build you that future that you've always wanted. All right, guys, see you soon. Bye.